Hi, this is Mike at Aviary with another video tip. So this week I'm going to show you how to get started with Peacock, our effects editor. Peacock is a hub-based, non-destructive editor. Um, it was specifically designed for applying effects to images or creating patterns. However, you can use it to perform photo manipulations, build reusable filters, or even make illustrations. So really it's a powerful application and has immense possibilities to create with. So we're going to open it up, take a look at it, and see if we can get you over that first hurdle of just getting into the application. So the layout in Peacock is probably different than you've experienced in any other image editor, and this is because of the hubs. A hub is a self-contained module that performs a specific action, and you can chain these hubs together to form complex effects. And the great thing about it is, since these effects are self-contained, you can reorder them and create completely new effects and you will always be able to get back to your original image. Oh and one last thing to remember everything will flow to your canvas because it's your output image. So enough explanation let's get started creating a simple image. So you'll usually start every file with the generator hub since it will produce pixels that you can work with. So let's open up the generators panel here and find the simple shape hub and drag it to our workspace. You'll see that you get all these controls over here on the right hand side. These are the settings for the hub. So let's just quickly change this to a circle with the fill color of blue. And we will reduce its scale here just a little bit to make it 80%. So as you can see the changes we made in the properties here will show up in real time in the workspace. This way we can monitor what we're doing. So next let's add a bevel to this. A bevel is considered an effect hub. And effect hubs are ones that alter the pixels of the image that is fed into it. So we go to the effects panel and find bevel and drag it out and connect it in between the simple shape and the canvas. So the controls over here have changed because we have the bevel hub selected. We'll just up the blur radius here and we'll increase the distance to say 30. You can see we're getting a really soft bevel to this. Finally, let's add a quick background to this. And we'll do this with the controller hub. Controller hubs are ones that perform transformations to the images that are input into it. So let's open the controllers panel and find the blender. The blender is kind of like the layers in Phoenix. You have blend modes, you have alpha settings, you can move these up and down in the layer stack. So it's pretty much a layers hub. We just want to add a color behind this. So let's just open the generators panel and find the color filled hub and drag it out to our workspace and connect it to one of the end pins on the blender. So it's added that color behind the circle. So now that you kind of have an idea of how this application works, I suggest you open it up and start plugging hubs together. Peacock is a limitless space for creation and you'll be amazed at what you can put together with just a few hubs. Enjoy the rest of the video and thanks for watching.